Could you tell us how the school auditorium was transformed into the 24th Street Theater? Yes, I believe that, uh, um, let's see, there was two or three guys that had engineering background and carpenter background and that sort of thing. And uh, everybody seemed to want to do something like this. And so we had to figure out a way to get some uh, wood, you know, to make this thing happen and how it should be done. Uh, the engineer put together the plans and stuff like that. And uh, I think um, our local uh, uh, guy that's a carpenter did a lot of work on that too. John to, Brush? Yeah, John mm -hmm. Brush and, her, and his wife as well, mm -hmm. I think. Um, and uh, so they did a tremendous amount of work on that. Um, and what, what, what really went down was that we uh, found out about Burnett Miller. And so uh, I picked up the phone and called him. You know, I said, hey, you can help us with some wood for your old alma mater. He came through like you wouldn't believe. I mean, just tons of great, really fine wood. And uh, Jerry and John did, were sort of the leaders of that. And we, you know, as usual, everybody showed up and everybody did what they could do. There is one wonderful story with that, and that at the same time that that was going on, we were trying to figure out what to do about chairs. And uh, the old Lincoln School downtown had uh, been condemned and uh, was being torn down so they could build the PERS system there. But we went down there and took a look and there was just all these really great chairs sitting there in the auditorium that they had. And then on, on that kind of angle, you know, that we were looking for. And so uh, we just got a bunch of trucks and a bunch of people and we drove in down there and took it apart and brought it back up here and we had all the chairs for the theater. Now those eventually were you know, those are old tables and our old chairs, and so eventually they put in new ones with little fancy seats.